Well, hi there. I'm here today with one of the craziest looking animals you will ever see anywhere in your whole life. And that is a red-eyed crocodile skink. If you are into reptiles at all, you have seen pictures of these. Personally, I don't even think they really look like crocodiles. I think they look more like dragons, because uh, they are so cool. They are just so cool looking. I, I don't know, nothing like a crocodile. Every bit like I would dream dragons would look. Love these little guys. And I have great news for you. They're a relatively easy to obtain and keep pet lizard. But are they the right pet lizard for you? To figure that out, it's going to come down to our five categories, which this is not my good hand, but I don't want to switch this lizard over, so we're going to go for it. Which are handleability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. When it comes to handleability, we give these guys a score of 2 out of 5. They do not like to be held, which is kind of unfortunate because other than when you're holding them, you may never see them. They're fairly easy to hold because when you pick them up, they play dead. Uh, and so they'll be totally motionless while you're handling them. However, they are just waiting for their opportunity to bolt and get the heck out of there. They're small lizards, but they are fairly solidly built. And so, you know, you don't have to be super duper delicate with them for a lizard this size. However, because they will run away as soon as they get a chance, I still wouldn't recommend handing them over to a small child. Honestly, the only problem with handling red-eyed crocodile skinks is that they don't like it. It's stressful for them. They will play dead. They'll vocalize sometimes, which is cool, but you don't want them to do it because they're stressed and they will run the heck away. That's what they want to do when they're being handled. So keep it to a minimum. I mean, there's no other way to show them to people. So if you're ever going to show off that you have the coolest looking lizard maybe in the world, you've got to get it out, but just keep handling to a minimum. You'll notice I'm not messing with this guy much. I'm just letting him hang out there. When it comes to care, we give the red-eyed crocodile skink a score of 3 out of 5. Care is actually fairly easy for these guys as long as you get the humidity right. They need pretty high humidity. In order to achieve this, you're going to want an enclosure that has either a glass top if it's an aquarium or maybe a plastic tote tub. That's also a really good way to keep humidity up. You definitely don't want a screen top with these guys. It'll let all your humidity out and it'll get too dry for them. They eat a variety of live feeders, including earthworms and a whole bunch of insects, things like smaller dubia roaches, crickets, superworms, mealworms. With those, uh, with actually all of these, you want to make sure that they're in some sort of a dish that they can't get out of in the enclosure because you probably won't see the skinks eat them, and so you don't want them just wandering around in the enclosure. They can't actually do some harm to your lizard. You may never actually see your crocodile skinks eating at all, but the insects will disappear, so that's a good sign. UVB is a good idea for them as long as the bulb doesn't heat the enclosure up too much. However, they don't need any sort of a basking light. Uh, the only reason you would need any sort of heat source for them at all is if your house gets extremely cold. Generally speaking, they do better at cooler temperatures, and too much heat is far more dangerous for them than too little, you know, unless they're out in like the freezing cold. They just hide almost all the time and really what they want is to be left alone. They're crepuscular so they'll come out a little bit maybe dawn and dusk but generally speaking you'll never see them. When it comes to hardiness we give the red-eyed crocodile skink a score of 3 out of 5. Captive bred will definitely be the better way to go when getting a crocodile skink because imports, I mean they, they do stress fairly easily, they might have parasites and they just often spontaneously die. So if you can help it, definitely go captive bred. Even under the best circumstances, expect your crocodile skink to only live a few years. They just don't live very long. They're kind of like chameleons in that way. When it comes to availability, we give the red-eyed crocodile skink a score of 2 out of 5. They can be found, absolutely. You can find one about any time you want one, but you do need to look. Expos may or may not have them. Online breeders are going to be the best place you're going to go. You can look online, find somebody who can ship it to you. That's the most likely place that you'll be able to find a red-eyed crocodile skink if and when you decide you want one. They lay just one egg at a time, and they'll lay a few each season, but because they're really cool, a lot of people want them, and they just don't produce a whole lot of offspring, so supply and demand means 
they're kind of expensive and kind of hard to find. They are out there, you just have to look. And truth be told, I mean, even if you already own a red-eyed crocodile skink, you're not going to see it unless you look. So you always have to be searching for a crocodile skink. When it comes to upfront costs, we give the crocodile skink a score of 4 out of 5. The lizard itself is going to be the most expensive part of the whole setup, and that's not often the case for reptiles. A tub or an aquarium with a glass top are going to be your best bet for housing it. You're going to need a UV lamp and bulb, but not a basking light or any sort of other heat source unless your house gets really cold. Then you're just going to need to add substrate that'll ho hold moisture. You're going to need a water bowl that they can even get into and swim in, and you're going to need hides and things that won't won't rot, won't decay, won't mold in that really humid environment, and that's pretty much everything you're going to need. Overall, we give the red-eyed crocodile skink a score of 2.8 out of 5. If what you want is a humid box in your room that makes insects disappear, and you know secretly has inside of it one of the coolest looking animals on planet Earth, then the red-eyed crocodile skink might be the perfect pet lizard for you. If you want a lizard that you can interact with a little bit more than a red-eyed crocodile skink, I've got great news. We have list upon list of awesome pet reptiles that you can interact with quite a bit, and so you should definitely check those out as well. As always, like and subscribe. Click that little bell so that you don't miss it whenever our new videos come out, and we hope to see you real soon. Let us do this thing. Giddy up. Oh, pretty. You're so cute. They are handleability, care, availability. Nope. <coughs> handleability, care, hardiness. Not gonna work. Handleability and upfront costs. What'd you think of that? You did that, it wrong. I think you said it wrong. You said handleability. Ah, nerds. <laughs> <laughs> Handleability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. Does that work for you guys? <laughs>